Hey there, Aquarius. Hope your guys' weekend has been good to you guys. Appreciate you. Let's find out what the cards are saying, what's coming up for your highest good. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius. It's silent treatment here. Two more. Got your family here. Your fake family members. You're the chain breaker. You broke the chains. And now people are looking like the clowns that they are. And here is a scared feminine energy that is very much aware that the chains that have been broken here. So, good for you. What's the overall energy for Aquarius? Thank you. Denial. Somebody was trying to create false accusations, trying to keep somebody stuck and in denial about family situation here. We're never truly alone just because we're by ourselves. So your family, your fake family was trying to isolate you, trying to, to assert dominance and control only for it to blow up in their face because we got comfortable being on our own. We actually prefer it. We're never alone just because we're by ourselves. We got a whole spirit team that messes with us. So Aquarius. Aquarius. I'm about to fall in love, and this is part of another chain breaker. So you've got somebody else that is also breaking their own chains here. Okay. Be brave and free. So you're, man, these chains that you have broken have kept you stuck in a place of resistance where you never were truly free. And because you put this brave face on, now you are, like, soaring free and high. Like, man. Aquarius. My body is a temple. I'm doing things healthier for myself. So not transferring energy with just anybody. Doing things to make our ment ourselves mentally healthier. I'm going to say spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. Doing everything we can to become the best versions of ourselves. And this is what's happening. And we're protected. I am safe. I am secure. I walk with a shield of protection wherever I go. And you are protected. You have a... who. You have a very supernatural protection that surrounds you, and this is why this woman is scared. Take time to meditate, filtering out that negative thinking, and attaining inner peace. So, learning to ground energy, channel it, and just get rid of those negative thoughts here. Aquarius. There it is. I just talked about negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and refocus on positive affirmations. When we're training our brain to think differently, we've got to rewire it. So those negative thoughts, they'll still come back up. They happen in my own mind, and I have to redirect them back to positivity. Your brain will get used to just doing it automatically before time is over with. So just continue enforcing those positive thoughts in that mind of yours. And then this inner peace. Something about your silent power. There's something about your stillness here. It's like a... People know that you're at this internal peace here. And it's like it's making a lot of controversy because of this. S surrendering to the wander and all of who you are. Opening up to the magic of everything that is about you. And life. And this attitude is unlocking more of this beautiful scenery about yourself, your environment, everything for yourself. You the one that has the power. So this is like being that hero for yourself. Aquarius. The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah. That's a chain breaking energy. So you. Okay. So this protection that you had around you. So it's almost like. It's like. This protection was there. But it's like something was still attacking you at one time. But the way that you. Stepped into your growth. And you started seeing the toxicity around you. For what it is. Has amplified your protection. Because you removed yourself. These energies have no more power over you. A new romantic cycle is, yeah, about to fall in love. Strong lead replacements here. Stepping out of our comfort zone. Our north node placements, what we're supposed to be doing this lifetime. And we are stepping out of our comfort zones. When we get used to trauma and toxicity, we get used to that. And we think that that's all that we deserving of. And that is far from the truth. So, something personal is reaching a resolution. Strong cancer placements here. So you've got some kind of personal answers that are heading your way at this time. 
Tell me about this silent treatment. So somebody tried to use silent treatment to try to control you and it didn't work. Tell me about that. Yeah, this is somebody here that was... So the silent treatment, they pulled their energy back and they've just been observing you this entire time. So much lies and gossip and slander that was being said about you. It blew up in their face. So might feel stuck. Something did not go the way that they thought it was going to go. Now they feel stuck. And your energy is up and running. So these people thought that you was going to say something by now and you have not. If anything, your energy has been amplifying. So somebody knows that something's over with. Somebody didn't think that you were going to speak on an ending or know about an ending. There's my, my earth angel, my chosen ones, my light workers. Somebody's used to you trying to fix something, mend something, and you're not doing that anymore. And now somebody is upset because you're disconnecting from them altogether. Tell me about this fake family. What are they doing? You are my generational curse breakers, by the way. You are the game changers of your bloodline. We're going to change up that behavior. We're not going to be like those. We're going to change everything up. We're going to make an impact on our bloodlines. Tell me about that. So first off, some kind of family members are having car issues right now. That's first off. Somebody's having car problems right now. These ancestors are not playing around, even when it comes to these family dynamics. Like, they are ready to, like, throw people in car wrecks and mess with their cars. Like, they are so tired of these people. And there's already car issues happening at this time. Tell me more. So you do got some kind of these family members trying to, to pop up on you, by the way. And these are the people that tried to, to end you. They wanted to, to, you to unalive yourself. You know, they were in on the, the, the other people kidnapping you and trying to take you out. All part of this. So, to, these family members are being haunted right now. There's a lot of paranoia and sleepless nights when it comes to these family members here. Very cold and heartless people. That <laughs> Cold and heartless people. No empathy. No remorse. Man, these are some very bitter feminine energies here. Narcissistic, jealous, hateful, envious, spiteful. Who? Anger issues. A lot of anger issues. Just jealousy. It's narcissistic energy. These people are, are upset because you have good news going your way. And it's, they, they're, they're not receiving the information that they thought they was going to receive by you not being here anymore. There's something about a house. Something about property here. Cool. And the ancestors told me to tell you fake family members, if you try to come to this house, they will remove you. They will do what they have to. They're tired of playing around with you guys. This ends now. So we're moving away from this, this karmic family. We're moving away from it. We're, our life is about to take off and get beautiful here. I'm talking about the chain breakers here. We're breaking chains. This is a very controlling, dominant energy that's been trying to pay some kind of spell work to keep you in these this binded energy here. So this is a masculine that has some kind of power to them, and they use it to, to assert dominance over you. And there's definitely been some some uh, payouts to, to keep you binded here. Payouts to keep your lover binded as well. Your lover's been breaking chains themselves. Man, this is like a very... Okay, so these family members, all they care about is money. That's all they care about. You have a commitment coming in. You both have been breaking these chains here. They cannot hold you guys back because you guys have both have been working on each other. And you have a strong past life connection here. That's why this connection is so strong. And they tried to create blockages. They tried to stop it altogether because it's a powerful connection. Tell me about these clowns. They're waiting. They're waiting for their, their show, their finale to start because it's coming. These clowns never thought that their masks would be ripped off. And they are. Tell me more. Yep, karma. So these clowns are getting ready to get hit with their karma because they've taken action on you. These clowns have been trying to take action on you still to this day. Watching you online here. So something is traveling towards these clowns now and they're in their head now because of it. These people are now binded. These people are now mentally warped right now. They're experiencing tower moments. I can't make this stuff up. There's a lot of awful karmic tower moments happening and because of this this action that they took on you this witchcraft this speaking over you and this financial gain that is yours these clowns were 
were benefiting off of your money. It was yours and they were taking it from you. And now these people are obsessively in their head realizing that their deception and what they've been doing is all coming out and being exposed. Talk about this scared woman. Why is she scared? Why is this one scared? Because she heard some kind of information here. She's heard something that's made this made her scared. Oh, somebody's sick. So somebody has got some kind of information about somebody being sick here. Oh. This cold, heartless, feminine energy is very well sick themselves. They could have got information about an own, their own diagnosis here. Like, they're sick. Man, there's all kinds of feminine energies here that are just breaking down. And it's all because they wanted to interfere with a union here. And, man, you guys are both going to take off here. You're very loving, kind, and sweet. And these people thought they were going to take advantage of you. And they can't do it anymore. It's over with. Air, Earth, Cancer, Scorpio, Air, Aries, Earth, Fire, Fixed Energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Fire, more Fixed Energy, Air, Fire, and Air here, Aquarius. There they are, these karmics, these karmic ties. They they have ties in with the, the, the judges, the law, the um, court system, all involved. And they've been working tirelessly to try to keep you stuck. And you keep breaking those chains. Good for you. These family members that are trying to come back around, they are karmic. They wear masks. They are evil. So let them go. They don't deserve you. Man, there is something here about this pregnancy here. There's some, some kind of, um, some kind of like, okay, so somebody misled a pregnant feminine here. And it was a karmic. They had a mask on and they set this female in a trap here with this pregnancy here, this child. So we've got some energies that are trying to figure out how to, to, to they, they still want you to feel like you're, like, this is your home. This is your family. Families, you're, this is my, you're my family. You can't do this. Oh, oh, but can we? Just because you're my family doesn't mean that I don't have to continue taking your abuse. I'm over it. And that's what's happening here. We're attracting our soul tribe towards us. We have fulfilled certain soul contracts. Now we're ready for new healthy contracts. We're calling in our soul tribe, our soulmate. A loyal companion, there they are. Loyal, devoted, unconditional love, a protector, a provider is what's coming your way. We had to learn to choose ourselves. We had to get comfortable with ourselves. And this is where these people thought that they were going to assert an advantage over us. But we got okay with just being with us. We're free spirit energies and we choose us. God, that came out forcefully. Because we choose ourselves, we have a completion here. These new worlds are opening up for us. And we've got beautiful rewards coming in after dealing with these harsh lessons. So these family members wanted to make you out as high standards, high maintenance, never satisfied, never, never pleased. But this is who these people are. These people want to guilt trip you and project their own insecurities onto you and make you feel bad. So don't let them do that. When we enforce boundaries on people, they'll go that much harder to tear us down and tear out other people look at us down. To tear us down is the goal. You're tapping into your creative energy here, and this was never meant to happen. So you were never meant to fully plug into your creative outlet, and this is what you've done. Now you're expressing yourself, and this was never meant to happen either, but you're doing it. Good for you. Something feels foreign here. Everything starts to feel foreign when we start realizing that the people that we thought were for us are the ones that sometimes it's the people that we least expect that is holding a knife ready to stab us in the back with it. So when we start identifying all of these karmic connections, we're going to get rid of them. And then everything's going to start feeling foreign because what we once known is all different now and we're going to have to adjust to that we're not going to let that fear of that change hold us back we're going to move through it we're going to experience new things because of this that's what's meant to happen here something about grounding energy so your energy like okay your energy packs a big punch when your energy is pulled away from people that's when all hell starts breaking loose and this is what's happening you still got people trying to pull on your energy ground yourself fair is fair ancestor says fair is fair what goes around comes back around. Something is rolling in your favor here. And you've got a beautiful plan with your life here. 
you have something divine over your life. And you had to understand this by coming into alignment with self in order to come into alignment with your priorities. And this is what's happening. There you are, that magical shaman, a healer. Somebody that has been torn and broken down into pieces in order to restore themselves back up, in order to help others. A healer has to heal themselves in order to be of assistance to others. Shamanic lineage. You're awakening to your vision and your magic here. And this is a beautiful thing. And this was never meant to happen either. So good for you. We've got fake friends that are also invested in with these fake family members. They're all connected here. So we're going to remove them all. And we're seeing the truth for what it is. We're seeing everything. And this was never meant to happen. And now we've got some energies here that have been trying to keep you in an indecisive mindset by trying to keep putting opinions, their opinions on what you need to do with your life. It's your life. Don't listen to what other people want you to live your life. Live your life for you. And there's this blessed union that's going to take place. A love that's going to transform not only your each other's views on love, but the world. God has an assignment for you two to come together to show the world that love is still here. So... Aquarius. Okay, there's your crooked police officers. These police officers are even tied in with these fake family stuff. These these cor corrupted cops, they they will twist and turn information in the court systems about you. They've done this to me. They they made information they they lied. Let's just say it like that. They lied. So tired of the drama. Somebody's just tired of the drama. Yeah, we're all tired of it. That's why we're moving away from it. These people wanted you to be looked at as a, a sex worker, sex trafficker, is what they were trying to do here to you. Something about a promise. Somebody has a promise that somebody was... So somebody has this promise that they wanted to keep here, and it's not being kept, and somebody's panicking. You're setting the record straight here, and nobody expected for you to do this. You're emotionally intelligent, and these people didn't realize this about you. They're scared. These people got played. Everybody that got themselves involved in the situation ultimately ended up playing themselves. That's what these secret society do. They recruit people. They even recruited some of you higher up tarot readers. You know what I'm talking about. I know who you guys are. My ancestors want me to tell you guys because you guys did not stay in your lane and you chose to come at me with what somebody said about me. My ancestors said they got something for you guys. You're not going to like it. So... Something about a pregnancy test. Somebody was trying to, to say someone was pregnant. And is, if someone is pregnant, you're not the father, by the way. So don't listen to that. Somebody already knows the tea. There's those fake friends that are involved. All the fakers. They, they recruit more fakers. And they all just a bunch of fakers. So somebody's depressed. There's a lot of depression happening in these family trees now. Friends, there's people are depressed. And there was definitely some kind of sex ritual. Somebody was trying to use some kind of sex to keep somebody stuck. Mm -hmm. Somebody was definitely trying to, to keep a hold of somebody here sexually. Somebody's running away now. Somebody hates nothing about you. These people are trying to keep something a secret, but game is over. So they can't keep something a secret anymore. It's, it's out in the open. And that's why everybody's panicking. Aquarius. And there we got a depressed masculine. I can't make this stuff up. There's all kinds of people dealing with depression. They are going to feel everything that we've felt our entire life. Buckle up, buttercups. It's a pretty bumpy ride. And there's that evil eye, that witchcraft that's been sent your way. Some of you are your entire life. Somebody didn't expect for you to have this light bulb moment and realize this and... Oh, we're realizing it. So there's a there's a scared masculine right now. Your ancestors are toying with somebody right now, and they don't like it. <laughs> Got a toxic work environment here. So when we're chosen, we can't work regular nine to five jobs. That darkness will ta attack us even through the workplace. So we got to watch out for these toxic environments. These energies tried to get you to go in any direction except for you finding yourself and you did not do none of those things you still found yourself that's beautiful and here comes your new person this person is very much aware of who you are to them so these people wanted okay so wanted to come in reverse so 
They wanted a horror show for you. That's not happening. They're having a horror show now. You're taking off. New levels. You're leveling up. You're getting everything that's meant for you. And then here's these secret societies, these devil ball suckers. They're part of families, these secret societies. They're judges, they're lawyers, they're cops, they're mayors, celebrities. And all hell is breaking loose. Go, how dare you speak out on this? How dare you expose our wickedness? That's what I'm here to do. That's what God has called me to do to expose you guys. So it's go time. Exposing all these snakes in the grass. God said cut the heads of the serpents off. And here's Cinderella coming through. It's your story. Only your shoe fits in it. And somebody's fat foot has been trying to keep themselves stuck in your shoe. And it's your shoe. Take, Give it back. It's not yours. It's our life. Some, there's a feminine energy depressed too. So I'm telling you, there's people dealing with a lot of like awful things right now. Okay, we're going to retreat. We're going to get the hell away from here. So you and your person are about to go somewhere here. And while other people are mentally breaking down, physically breaking down, emotionally breaking down, spiritually breaking down, financially breaking down, is what's happening to these people. Separations are taking place. Somebody's frustrated because they're already aware of what's happening. These people had a target on your back. There was a, There's wealth attached to your name. So they targeted you. They tried to get you to unalive yourself they tried to get a killer after you because these people wanted to keep control over the situation, control over your money, control over your assets, which are yours. But you, a spiritual warrior, you fully stepped into your power when you embraced your north node placement. Which that's what you're supposed to be doing this lifetime. Somebody thought you was clueless and naive and dumb, and you're showing them that you are none of those things. And there's some sibling rivaling here. So this is like... Even our even our own family members, our own siblings are jealous of us. I've dealt with this myself, so but they're my fake brothers, so fakers. I'm telling you, there's so many people that are falling apart right now. They're not happy with what's going on, so it's not pretty for these people. Aquarius, tell me about what these family members were doing here with these devil ball suckers. Tell me about them. They are part of these secret societies, and they've been trying to keep this information a secret. There's a fake death, so you're not even, you're already dead, apparently, but we're still alive. We're still here. Hello, we're still here. You're the missing piece of a, a puzzle here, and it's a fake death. Somebody's trying to run from this now. Somebody's trying to clean this up, but they can't clean it up. It's all coming out about this death, and then they tried to unalive you, tried to kidnap you. Tried to take you out because of this already fake death that's happening here. Watching you under surveillance here. This is what I'm talking about with these programs, that MK Ultra stuff. They'll follow you around in your work. They're following you everywhere your entire life. You've been under surveillance. Yes, you're an alien. <laughs> we're an alien. Because <laughs> I guess we're not what you call normal. To society, but I don't want to be a normal society anyway, so I'm good with being an alien. So, you're the one with the power. You're of this world, but you're, you're in this world, but you're not of the world. So, and everybody is out here in their emotions with nowhere to go. That's what they wanted for you. I'm telling you, I can't make this stuff up. They wanted you to go missing. You are the missing part. You're already missing, by the way, just so you know that you're missing. And they wanted to make you miss, they wanted to take you away more. Trying to pull people in to date you. That's what this program does. They purposely, they pay people to come in and torture you and, and make you want to unalive yourself is what the plan is with this program. It's a man-made disaster. So you didn't date like they wanted you to. They're, so with me personally, they sent people to me when I would go to stores and, and I would just dodge the people because I knew what they were doing. So, And now they're going down in flames. And now justice is happening. And all the crooked justice system is all being pulled out front and center and these people are going to jail now and there's these devil ball suckers with their rituals these parties trying to sacrifice you is what they were wanting to do 
and that didn't work. So they were hoping that you would go in the mental ward. That didn't work either. Someone else is going in the mental ward. A celebrity, I keep getting a celebrity is about to go in the mental ward. You're still alive. You're not, you're supposed to be dead. And there's these life insurance policies that people have on you. Even celebrities have life insurance policies on you. So they're trying to, to hide underneath the ground. There's something here. There's still, there's celebrities that are claiming that they're dead. They're not dead, by the way. They're underground. They're hiding out. They're, they're, they're still here, guys. Okay. This is where the cartel and the traffickers and the, where they sell people and they, they hurt our children. This is where they're taking them, under the ground, so they cannot be seen. It's all it's all tied in with each other, okay? And there's these cult members, these secret societies that get off on hurting people. They get off on, they, they get pleasure off of other people's pain, so we're going to give this back to these people. It's, it's, there's a new sheriff in town. We're not taking this anymore. God is ready to, to wipe out all the darkness. Our ancestors are ready. As witches, we're ready to take our power back. And we're not letting anybody tell us that we are not we don't have power. And don't let anybody shame you for being a witch. I am a witch. I was killed in my past life. So I'm not letting anybody silence me anymore. Just because you're a witch does not mean you're a bad person. There is good and bad in everything. It depends on how which way the person goes with it. There are people hiding in churches that are the most judgmental people. And they are hiding behind church masks when they are Satanists. So there you go. Oh, you guys get me upset. Aquarius. You got somebody coming here. Please take this. It's your person coming towards you. And these family members, they still have these problems. These friends, everybody involved, they still have these problems that they're not willing to address. They have made no changes. Don't let these people near you. You're the jackpot, and everybody's very much aware of you being this jackpot. Everybody's already been banking off of your jackpot. There's definitely somebody here has been trying to keep some kind of lust to keep somebody stuck here that isn't working anymore. You're not dating casually, and you never really were the type of person to date casually. That's not who you are, and that's what you were meant to be looked at. There's a marriage that's going to take place here. After both of these two people have broken their chains from their environments, they are able to come into union. There's a good tower coming in that's going to rock both of your guys' worlds. And this change and this transformation is what's paving the way for all this to happen here. So there's people here that are trying to push you out of a situation. You are an unwanted guest. That's why they've been trying to remove you. But, oh, somebody here is protecting your heart. Like, man, somebody here just feels like they need to protect you. There's smoke and mirrors energy. And because the smoke and mirrors have been seen for the smoke and mirrors that they are, all conflict is breaking out. These people wanted to, to play with you like you were a piece in the game and you were the whole you were the whole mastermind behind everything. And the price of priorities. So all of these people that wanted to get their hands on what belongs to you are all gonna suffer and pay the price. They're all going to lose out financially. It's not good for these people at all. So Aquarius. There you are again. You're the jackpot. And everybody's aware of this. So just use discernment. Not everybody gets to have access. And then these people that wanted you to unalive yourself that were part of these plans of poisoning you, messing with your car, trying to set the house on fire, got the neighborhood involved with it as well. None of these people deserve to get to have access to you. You're the jackpot. They showed you how they truly feel about you. Now you get to move away and be free from it all. And they're about to be broke. I'm telling you, people's finances are taking major, major hits. All because these people wanted to play in your face. You ain't nothing. They ain't nothing. Okay, that's a projection of yourself. People did everything in their power to make somebody not interested in you. But somebody, when they first looked at you, they knew that I, I know this person from somewhere. They could feel it in their soul. These family members, these fake friends, these cult leaders, they do the same thing over and over again. They make no changes. They ain't about change. They don't know how to reflect. They'll never change because they don't hold themselves accountable for their actions. So they'll never be growth. And all they do is run their mouth and talk crap because they feel insecure and they're like they're lacking something. That's why they project that onto other people. And 
you're too busy hustling. While they're running their mouth, talking crap, you're over here just working on your finances, unfazed by the haters, as you should be. Somebody's been trying to, to use, again, it's like a feminine energy trying to like tempt your masculine with this lustful energy here. So there's some kind of scarcity pro scarcity moves that they've been making. Now they're getting the scarcity moves and they don't like it. Now they're upset and in their feelings. Don't let these family members guilt trip you because those are crocodile tears. Remember, they didn't want you to be here. So some of you guys are moving away altogether here. And then here's these bullies involved. These are these gang stalkers. The government pays these gang stalkers to purposely inflict terror and paranoia and fear in their victims to where they will want to unalive themselves or they'll be made to be looked at as crazy or they start a fight with you and they'll go to jail because the cops are in on it. Everything's in on it. So it's all orchestrated. So we've got to use our, our senses when it comes to these type of cat attacks. So these are keyboard warriors. They're scared. They're they're. Man, they're weak, weak-minded individuals. They don't know how to stand on their own. That's why they're all in groups and cliques. These people thought you were played out, but they're the ones that are played out. These people tried to force themselves on you in your energy, in your finances here, and force other people to look at you in a bad lighting. Everybody's money is about to be dismantled and ruined here. Like, there's some bankruptcy issues happening with these family members, these friends here. Like, this is no joke here, guys. Aquarius. You and your person are both understanding your awareness, your value, the importance that you guys have. Because you guys were made out to not to be important to anybody. That's all changing up. You both are learning to release and let go of these karmic family, friends. Letting it go. And that's what's happening. And we're preparing for this foundation. We're going to create new healthy family units. We're going to be secure. We're going to be healthy, happy. We're going to love each other. We're going to be established. And here's your masculine coming through. Your masculine's been working on themselves. Good for you, masculine. Be proud of you. This masculine finds you very beautiful. They love everything about you. They love your energy. You have helped this masculine heal. And that's a beautiful thing. That's what we're here to do. So you, my savior, I just heard. So you saved your masculine. God, God moved through you to move through your masculine and God has saved your masculine. That's beautiful. And then these prideful, arrogant, stubborn people are being exposed for just who they are. They wear masks. They, they're pretenders. They're fakers. They wear different masks to achieve certain things. And boy, do they don't like their masks being ripped off. Oh, well. They wanted you to be looked at as you have a mask on, but you don't. Somebody cannot resist you. They feel this strong pull towards you, and they want to open their heart to you. They want to be receptive of this love. They want to understand what love is. They want to operate out of a place of empathy. They want to be vulnerable. They want to learn how to speak their emotions, and that's what we have to do. We have to learn to how to connect with each other. We can only do so much healing, and then we come together in union, and we teach each other things in the connection. There's fake apologies trying to come through with these family members and these friends, so uh, don't let these people back around. There is somebody here. Like, okay, so these, on your masculine's end here, a lot of guilt tripping going on here. These are these Jezebel energies that are just, they did everything they could to keep a masculine under control by using sexual domination on somebody here. Your family members look at you as one heartless mother effer right now. And that's what people will look at us when we start enforcing boundaries on people that have hurt us and wronged us. They're going to start calling us selfish. Um, they don't care. They don't listen to that stuff. They're just mad because you've put boundaries up and you won't let them run over you anymore. So keep your silence away from these fake karmics. They wanted you to feel rejected. They didn't want you to have what was yours. Now they're about to feel rejected. So... Leave them out in the cold. They did everything to make you feel like not good enough, left out, insignificant. This is how they're going to feel now. They wanted to break you down. Your own family tried to break you down. Wanted you shattered. Wanted to destroy you. And these family members were trying to get in the way of a commitment here. 
we're not going to let that happen. And like I said, we're going to make new family. We're going to make a healthy, happy environment. None of this toxic stuff anymore. That's over with. So, but boy, do you two chain breakers coming into alignment together and nobody can stop them. So that's beautiful. All right, beautiful Aquarius, that was your guys' message. Hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Wednesday.